Who are you interacting with? How are you interacting with them? How are they interacting with you? Is this good? Like, does this make sense? Is this indicative of somebody who loves themselves? The way you're allowing people to talk to you? The way that you're allowing people to treat you? Hey y'all, it's your girl Fumilaya. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to like this video because it helps other people to see the video and make sure to subscribe because we have awesome content on this channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about what self-love truly looks like. So I think that this is like a super, you know, important video and just a great topic because a lot of times I feel like society feeds us this um, narrative and just whatever what is mainly championed is just that self-love is getting massages or going for a manicure pedicure or um, buying yourself a new handbag going shopping you know uh, just different things that are kind of more so materialistic it's more so consumerism right not saying that self-love is not also being uh, mindful about giving yourself gifts because gifts is a form of love that's not the only part that's not that's what I want to say it's not the only part of what self-love is there's just so much more so I want to talk about the other aspects of self-love that we don't really talk about as much so one of the main ones I would say is the hard conversations <laughs> the tough conversations that you have to have in order to you know just go ahead and maybe express yourself or go ahead and advocate for yourself in some type of way or just go ahead and um, respect your boundaries in a way like that is really loving yourself loving yourself is you know when you you treat yourself well in terms of you know what you're consuming and how you take care of your body i tell you my mom tells me she tells me all the time like when i'm going ham on the sugary stuff and the ice cream and she's like you must not love yourself and it's true if you're doing things that you know are hurtful to yourself that is not necessarily self-love like that's not showing that you truly love yourself that's definitely something that i know like i have to be mindful of like uh, you know moderation is key but you know those are aspects of self-love self-love is forgiving yourself you know allowing yourself grace for times that you may have betrayed yourself in the past and times where you you didn't choose you and you allowed you know yourself to be disrespected in a type of way or you allowed yourself to just you know be treated poorly or you stayed you stayed in a situation too long you stayed around the wrong type of people too long or you didn't stand up for yourself when you should have that part of self-love being able to say listen you were you were who you were in that moment you did the best you could this is a saying i think i heard on um i don't know if it was somebody's podcast or something uh, like one of the quotes that I, I saw on instagram but it's like you did the best you could with who you were with the tools that you had at the time like you know now you've grown so you you have to show yourself grace so that's like that's a major one definitely being willing to you know forgive yourself and then also just changing growing self-love is growth being able now to be able to choose you choose you even when it hurts being able to choose yourself and that's <laughs> that's what i'm working on because it is just so important it's just so important you do not want to betray yourself you be able to really advocate for yourself stand up for yourself you know make sure that you are making decisions that are beneficial to you you are making decisions with your peace in mind self-love is not allowing yourself to sacrifice your peace what i am not saying is only do things that work perfectly for you that's it not at all what i'm saying so i do want to further clarify this by saying that i do believe in sacrificial love i do believe in being kind to other people even if it might not be the most convenient thing for yourself or just like inconveniencing yourself or the people that you love in this situation i'm talking about compromising your peace meaning like your morals your values like what you fundamentally stand for and like right is right wrong is wrong that type of um scenario so not about sacrificing or being kind and loving for people 
don't do that no this in, in order to make other people feel comfortable or whatever the situation might be you know what i mean we can't be like you know obviously like everything has its caveats everything has its exceptions but in general like no you, you do not want nothing to disturb your peace i feel like it's also respecting yourself in the decisions that you make making sure that you are moving in such a way you would move with the loved one you know there's a way that people can move the way that people can carry themselves and you're like oh yeah you can't play with that person they you can tell they they love themselves they respect themselves you know so that is is definitely an aspect of self-love and even with that like treating yourself or, or moving and respecting yourself like somebody that you love like your self-talk your internal dialogue that's something that i had to work on a lot like don't be so hard on yourself but like speak to yourself in love tell the truth be real with yourself but like in love lovingly you don't want to sink your own ship or whatever so it's very important and with that though still you holding yourself accountable even though you're talking to yourself in love when you tell yourself the truth you know hold yourself accountable and encourage yourself to do better you know so <laughs> so it's super important to just be mindful of that and be mindful of your speech and your um your potential in order to push yourself loving yourself enough to water your own seeds so that you can grow you become the flower that you know you are you know another one is controlling your environment making sure that you're in a space that is fruitful for you that is beneficial for your growth and that is uh, a safe you create your own safe zone a safe place that makes you comfortable being mindful of who you allow in your life who are you interacting with how are you interacting with them how are they interacting with you is this good like does this make sense is this uh indicative of somebody who loves themselves the way that you know you're allowing people to talk to you the way that you're allowing people to treat you the way that you are allowing people to show up for you or allowing people to not show up for you you know so just things like that just being mindful of kind of like taking an audit and i, I always be thinking to myself you know just like okay does this make sense does this make sense like is this working like is this not working you know or sometimes it can even be you having to hold yourself accountable for how you're showing up in the lives of the people that you love like are you how are you talking to people is that you know it's how i think oh, how did they say it they say like we're all we're all connected you know what i mean so how you're treating others is a reflection of how you feel about yourself so making sure that you are also being mindful of how you speak to people mindful of how you treat people and mindful of how you show up for people so that's definitely a big one and you know with the mind being mindful of how what you're consuming and everything and how you're treating your body like you know trying to like really take care of your body and i think that's as part of the ones that is celebrated in um society now is just like you know making sure that you're spending money and doing stuff to like take care of how your body how you look and everything like that because that is i do think that I, me personally i do think that's an aspect of like how much you love yourself is how much you take time to show up as your best self for yourself but just being mindful is something that your body needs and giving it that you know just things that help you show up as your best self i feel like is also an aspect of self-love because i feel like me personally, when when I look good, I just feel so much better. You know, I feel so much better when I'm not like, cause there are a lot of times where I'm eating bad, you know what I mean? A lot of sugary drinks and everything like that. And then I just, my face will just swell up. You know, it's just inflammation going crazy. I'm not feeling my best. But when I'm taking care of myself, I'm working out or I'm just like eating good or I'm, I'm just eating bad in moderation you know what i mean <laughs> i feel so much better because and i look better because you know the stuff that for me i don't know if you're like that in terms of like i don't know if it's food sensitivity or allergies i don't know but certain certain foods certain things i consume it just if i have too much or a certain amount mm -mm, my face my face my body it, it reacts and it just it it starts looking very mm -mm not good you know and just yeah another aspect of self-love is like falling in love with your features obviously i have on makeup now but like even when we're wearing makeup making sure that we're loving how we look like how we look without all the extras falling more in love with the way you <laughs> wake up in the morning and just really pouring into that and just like really just falling more in love with yourself as a person too i love fangirling like i love like oh my gosh like 
you were just so dope like she's just so dope like oh my god she did this da, 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 da. but there comes a certain time in your life where you got to realize you the dope one <laughs> okay period you're the one that's just like so cool you're the one that's just you know so bomb or just so this so that whatever just falling in love with the things that make you you and realizing that that is just so dope and that you're amazing and just really really messing with yourself but like wow i'm really i'm really hurt you know i feel like we gotta feel that way we gotta practice like just loving ourselves and loving the things about us and i will even go as far to say like not even as far but one thing about me is i'm very like um <laughs> i would say like i can be kind of awkward i can be kind of awkward and it just it took me a long time in life to really um come to t- <laughs> i want to say come to terms with it i want to say okay i want to say it took me a long time to come to terms with it but it's just always something i've known like yeah i'm a little bit you know because i just i don't know my, I, I just get anxious i just get my nerves i don't know i just certain i there are a lot of awkward moments in my life oh my goodness for the longest i wanted to start doing skits you know how Issa Rae was doing the awkward black girl like literally i'm like yo i should start because my life like honestly you know and who knows maybe one day i'll do something like that but at the end of the day fall in love with that and i will tell you one way that really helped me fall in love with that aspect of me first off was like meeting other people like myself that also <laughs> growing up like i'm telling you growing up i had so many awkward moments even up to this day to this day there would be awkward times where i'm just like oh my gosh like what the heck but like growing up what helped me was like you know meeting other people like me that were also dealing with that same things and then also seeing stuff like Issa Rae's awkward black girl finding things that relate to you so you can celebrate you because a lot of times we celebrate things in other people and we don't realize like no that's kind of like you you know what i mean so if we can pinpoint okay this is like me see it on somebody else and like or in social media not social media but on tv or some sort of representation like that and just appreciate that it can help you also appreciate yourself in a way and just like normalize that okay you're not the only one or no this is actually pretty cool one thing that really like tremendously helped me tremendously 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 helped me was the office yes oh my goodness that show it helped me a lot because you know with the whole awkward moments and just like just uh, just feeling like uh, you know you're growing up and you just you're still coming into yourself you're still coming into yourself and seeing people on that show that were just they were weird too i'm like oh you, you're weird like me you know so <laughs> we're in a good way but like you a little bit awkward like you know like me too and it's just and just finding them hilarious like so flipping funny you know what i'm i'm like yo and then falling in love with the characters you know and it normalizing those type of like what the heck like what was that type of moments you know it allowed me also the freedom within myself to be like oh yeah yeah you know what this happened and honestly right now i just want to like i want to disappear this is very uncomfortable it's very awkward but i know that i start to think of myself as a character in a show or a movie and show myself the grace and fall in love with my character which is me because that's what i would do if i was watching the show or something like that like you know like let's think about think about like freaking dwight like he just he is he's a character he's literally a character you know but it's so lovable and he's himself you're it's a lovable being able to see being able to love characters that are not like just so cool and you know got everything figured out but are just very kind of like offbeat in a way that is it's it freed it frees you in a way you know where it's like no you with all your idiosyncrasies with everything that makes you awkward with everything that makes you weird you are very much worthy of love you are very much lovable you are very much you know the favorite character you know you are very much just you're still very much her so just things that you are still coming to terms with about yourself that can be a way to like help you if you find representation 
in whether it's movies or shows or YouTube. YouTube too will also help you know like, and I hope this video helps. YouTube too will also let you know like you're not alone. There are people like you and you'll see somebody that you like and they're going through something that you're going through and you're like, oh my gosh, and I really like this person and they're also, they can relate to da 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 or they like me in this way da 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 and you think that they're so cool, they're so great, and then you realize, oh, so am I, cause I'm like that, and da da da. You know, just things that can like help uplift you and help you come to terms and not think certain things about you that you that might not be the <laughs> the most comfortable. You know, awkward moments is never really comfortable. You know are not as big of a deal you know what i mean and you can learn to not take things as seriously and laugh certain stuff off it's super helpful and it's always a journey so i feel like self-love is a never-ending journey because i'm i'm still learning to this day how to love myself more and i'm really trying to work on it you know and i'm even thinking of like certain things that i really want to implement this year in order to like fall more in love with myself just like you know as a person and you know my features and without all the extra like just you know loving me and everything like that you know even as far as i've come and even being that i do love myself so much now and i i see the growth because i look back on certain things in my life and i'm like yeah no you definitely mm -mm. that self-love was oh it was a little ugh. you know what i'm saying and it's even like sometimes i love to examine social dynamics i love to watch people and um I just, just like you know just see how people interact see how people move and you can tell you can tell and i was i was talking to i think i was talking to my brother about this you can tell when somebody somebody loves themselves or somebody knows they're loved mostly you know somebody knows like they know they're loved they move differently they don't move like you can tell when somebody is kind of like uh, uh, versus somebody just knows like even you may not like me i may not fit the world standards whatever but i'm very much like i i love myself i feel loved you know and we have to realize that um god god loves us just the way we are god loves us he's and that is just like you know that's just it's freeing it's freeing in a way like it's just not in a way it is freeing it is freeing because we know like the I, well, i'm christian uh I feel like you get that from if you watch my other videos or whatever so that's kind of like where yeah this part of the video is coming from but you know obviously so you know still sinner god's working on me he's not done with me yet not done with me yet y'all but um he's working it he's working in me but um <laughs> still figuring it out but anyways knowing that he loves me just the way i am and that's the most important person in the freaking world like what the heck like you know that can also be like a major like you know and that that is in itself you know just god himself is love so self-love for me is you know really which i gotta work on too is like building up my relationship more with god you know because you're it's just love it's love that love you know and you really just engulf yourself in it and really seek him out which is what again i need to work on you know what i mean I need to work. I still got to work. I still got a lot of work to do, you guys. I still got a lot of work to do. But the moral of the story is that, you know, that is definitely, definitely freeing. And that's the most important thing at all. The most important thing of all. And then another way is like just, I kind of touched on this one in the sense of like, you know, the whole doting on yourself. That is showing yourself love. That is a part of love. Gifts, that could be love. But positive self-talk, that is, that is love too. You know what the whole five love language is? you know uh quality time you spend time with yourself words of affirmation that positive self-talk you know gifts that's one um acts of service you know doing things for yourself that's love uh what is it quality time where's a physical touch you know that's self love like you can just like massage yourself sometimes you know these shoulders be getting stiff okay they be they be hurting and i don't always want to spend the money for the massage so sometimes i gotta do a little bit of this you know do a little bit of that <laughs> or or even like when you're rubbing your lotion and stuff like that so it's like there are different ways and i want to this will be the last point i touch on but i think that this is also like super important especially as women the desire for love from others does not equate to not having self-love because i feel like a lot of times i see stuff there where it's like when people are expressing oh they want a relationship they want this they want that 
and or they want like love from a partner people be like no you just love on yourself take yourself out da, da, da. okay but then what what happens after that you can still want the love from somebody else why can't i get both what like who said who said you can't have both like who said that you know it's true some people they you know they might need to love on themselves more but at the same time i do believe that oh if i can find it i'll screenshot this post that i saw on instagram that this girl put on her story and she just she so eloquently described it but i god put that i believe that god put the desire in some of some of our hearts for companionship so there that does what the heck so we talking about we talking about two different things at this point you know what i mean so it's like <laughs> let people want what they want if you desire a partner you desire love from others i think that's completely normal you should obviously still be pouring into yourself obviously still loving yourself but i don't think that that is like is the same as like a love from others like i think it's perfectly okay to still desire others and you still have your self-love intact and you know what i mean and that's not an issue so definitely wanted to wanted to share that so it's, it's and also it's like um I saw a TikTok there talking about it, how America is such like an individualistic uh, com society or community. I can't remember how the girl said it, but she that I got to find it. But she, she was talking about that versus like, you know, other places where it's like very much connected. Like it's not just you on your own, you on your own, because, you know, it's many of us on this earth for a reason. We're supposed to love each other. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like it's OK to still desire love and have self-love i do want to say that so yes you guys just wanted to touch on this video about self-love because you know when we love ourselves you know it gives people the freedom to love themselves so let's all try our best to love ourselves you know even when it feels hard even when we don't feel worthy you know i trust me i get it i get it i get it i get it but guess what god says we still are you know and um it's a never-ending journey but it's you know it's it's very much important it's very much key and i hope this video was helpful or at least entertaining or <laughs> or something but comment down below how your self-love journey has been and things that have helped you fall more in love with yourself um and uh yeah like honestly spending time also me living alone too like you the more time you spend with yourself you just really realize like yeah no you're dope like you you are so much fun you're funny i think i'm hilarious you know what i mean <laughs> you might disagree look you might disagree but what really matters is how i feel about myself we gotta realize no matter what the world feels how we feel about ourselves will trump everything every time you know i don't know if there are any exceptions but that's just my thoughts but anyways i will catch you guys next time thanks so much for watching bye that's